Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 The prophets that have been before me And before thee of old Prophesied both against many countries And against great kingdoms Of war And of evil And of pestilence First and foremost I want to give all praise on and glory To the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. The job of a prophet is to prophesy, to tell you what is going to happen before it even happens. Martial law is going to eventually pop off. <clears throat> it's going to get out of control. It's going to get out of hand. And martial law is going to pop off because there's going to be so much chaos. Crime, looting, stealing, shooting, you name it, death everywhere. The regular police ain't going to be able to handle it. You see, no one's going to listen to the community leaders. You see, remember the scriptures say the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Let's get that again. Because cause you're not going to hear this in church. Your church pastor is not going to tell you that all hell is breaking loose and it's not going to get better. They're not going to tell you about the evils and only evils. Behold, it's coming. And they ain't even going to tell you who's making all this happen. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Everything that you see being orchestrated on the face of the earth is being controlled. By a higher power, who they only call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. And the job of a prophet is to reveal the secrets, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. And what are we doing? We're prophesying against Babylon, man. One of the greatest kingdoms ever known. Just like the prophets once again prophesied against Egypt, prophesied against Babylon, prophesied against Rome. You see? Those prophets are back now, prophesying both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil, meaning bad times. Martial law is bad times. Them gurgle troops going to kick in that door, man. And they're not going to regard life. You see, they're not going to say, oh, yeah, um, he, he, he's a music producer. Don't, don't kill him. Oh, yeah, she's a beautiful woman. Don't ra Women going to get ravished and everything. That's why, once again, it's time to seek the Lord. You Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, throw that pride away in the trash can and humble down and seek the Lord. Because the men of the Lord will prophesy of war. World War III is going to eventually pop off. End of evil, meaning more bad times. And what do you think crime is going on? You think shit. Like the brother was going into yesterday, you had 30 people get killed, you know what I'm saying, in Rocky Mountain, a smaller town, this week alone. Well, matter of fact, last week, because this is the beginning of a so-called new week, but last week alone, that's a small town. How much more these major cities? Another rapper just died. Crooks and thieves breaking in and out of stores. It's going to eventually pop off. They're going to lock the cities down. You see? You see, the, the, sea, the sea dog is, is, is breaking loose even more, as they say. And you know what I mean by that. So that's evil, right? And of pestilence, more diseases than a little bit. And the men of the Lord's job is to prophesy, right? So let, I want to get that. Let's get that revelation. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. We're coming in the spirit of the Lord, right? Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, and it reads... And I fell at his feet to worship him. This John the Revelator, seeing an angel. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Worship the Most High. Because the angel are, are our brothers, right? Worship the Most High, Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh is a spirit of prophecy. So that's the spirit that we're coming in. We're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, meaning the spirit of prophecy. And before these things pop up, we tell you of it, right? Before martial law pop up, we tell you of it. I want to get I want to go straight to it. Second Ezra. Because well, we prophesying, right? Second Ezra chapter 15. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter 15. I'm gonna start at one. I'm gonna jump around. 
2 Ezra chapter 15 verse 1 Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy That's, that's the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai, right? The spirit of prophecy, right? Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Tell him what's going to happen before it even happens Let's jump all the way down Verse 15 For the sword Matter of fact 14 2 Ezra chapter 15 verse 14 Woe to the world And them that dwell therein Woe means destruction man Woe to the world And them that dwell therein Let me turn this music down so Woe to the world, destruction unto the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. They, they go your race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic wars. And eventually, look, it's going to pop out. It's going to get so bad. They're going to have to send the troops in, man. It's going to get so bad that they're going to have to send the troops in. The martial law troops. You see? And the word martial means warlike. Warlike law, man. You see, they're no longer gonna lose use the the, um, the regular police force, right? They're going they're going to use the military, right? It is for their so for the sword and their destruction draw not, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, and the swords represents the guns, right? For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. You can have people going against the government. You can have other people excited other people to go against the government. It's really popping off now. And all that is happening now, but that heat most definitely going to get turned up, right? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. I mentioned that earlier. No one is going to listen. to. We go through this all the time through the spirit of your house. But Shemel Shai, no one's going to listen to the president, to the governors, to the mayors, to the community leaders. No one's going to listen to the phony pastor in that church that's been robbing you of all your money. Because that's all them pastors in them churches do, rob you of all your money. Sell you false hope, false dreams, man. No one's going to regard what they're saying, okay? Remain calm and all. No one ain't trying to hear that. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power for a little minute. Until they see the troops, blocks are going to be um, barricaded. You know what I'm saying? You see? Militia groups are going to gather up. And a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because the martial law going to pop off, man. You see these different end time um, period movies to where all hell breaks loose. And you can't go from one city to the next hell. You can't go get food. Shit, food is going to be rationing off. You see? You're not going to have three course meals anymore soon come. Fat people gonna be skinny, and skinny people gonna just disappear, man. These are the times that we this fastly approaching, right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, cause martial law gonna pop off, man. Ne you never see your loved ones ever again, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. You better better go, go take a look at that movie Bushwick. It's pretty much depicting, you know what I'm saying, somewhat what it's going to be like, but it's going to be a million times worse than that, though. Go look at that movie, Bushwick, and look, it predicts what it's going to look like somewhat in the times that's fastly approaching. But guess what? It's going to be a million times worse than that, Israel. And it says, men shall be afraid, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, meaning rob their goods with them guns. Take everything you got because of the lack of bread. It's going to be a famine out here and for great tribulation. That's why we always going to seek in the Lord. Why he may be found. Take heed to this word. Why, why you still got time, Israel? You see? Why this word is still going out full throttle? Seek him, man. Seek your how about Shimmy. I was I got a couple more scriptures. Then I'm going to bring out and I'm going to wrap it up. Because it's going to go down whether you want to hear it, whether you like it. Jacob's trouble is going to pop off Israel. And I want to get that too. This is Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 30. We'll start at 5. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. But you think peace is coming. 
We're gonna we're gonna build better. This is what this devil is telling you. We're gonna build better. We're gonna make life easier for you when all hell breaking loose. Judgment going forth, and this is all part of judgment. When martial law pop off, when all hell pop off, look, guess what it's called? Judgment. It's called judgment, man. Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, grabbing his stomach area, right? As a woman in travail, when a woman giving them, them birth pains that she about to deliver. That's what these men is going to be like. Remember we just read, and men shall be afraid. How much more the weaker vessel a woman is all by herself with a whole bunch of kids. And all faces are turned into penalties, meaning you scared to death. Alas, for that day is great. So there is none like it. The day that's coming, there ain't never been a day like it, man. You see, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Remember death, bloodshed, strife, the sword, calamities. All these were created for the wicked. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Who, who is Jacob? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. All right? You're Jacob. But he shall be saved out of it, meaning the elect is going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble, man. But two-thirds, look, you're going to really catch it, man. You're going to really catch it. Jeremiah 30 and 24. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return. The fierce anger, this is all part of the fierce anger of the Lord. When martial law pop off, that's the fierce anger of the Lord, right? The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. Until he have performed the intents of his heart, meaning his mind. Remember, he going to do whatever he please. In the latter days, and these are the last days of the last days, ye shall consider it, man. You're going to ponder upon it. You're going to think upon it. When, it. when it pop off, remember, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return. I want to get another precept. This is Isaiah 46. Remember, we tell you what's going to happen before it even happened, right? But God said, and look, look, and so what if some don't believe? In thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. That's why the scripture says, make no terror to turn to the Lord. And don't put it off from day to day. For in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, right? And perish in the day of vengeance, Israel. Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember, the former things of old. For I am the most high Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. It was already written already. Everything that's happening now was already written. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Remember, prophesy. Go prophesy unto them. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, right? What does it say again? And from ancient times... The things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. So whatever is written up in this Bible is going to come to pass. My counsel, remember the fierce anger of the Lord? That's going to come to pass. Jacob's trouble, martial law, all that is going to come to pass. Regardless if you hear, forbear, believe it or not, it don't matter. And I will do all my pleasures. And that's big talk right there. The Lord said, whatever is written up in this book, remember, everything is going to have to be fulfilled. Everything is going to be fulfilled. I want to get Daniel right quick. The day that is coming ain't never been a day like it, Israel. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time, Michael, the head archangel, upon the Lord Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call Jesus, right? And, I, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, meaning the Israelites. And there shall be a time of trouble. Didn't we just read about that? Talking about Jacob's trouble, right? And there shall be a time of trouble. Such was not Salakia, such was never was seen since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, the elect of the nation of Israel. That's what it's all about, the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book of life, man. You see? And, and it's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. Two-thirds going to die a horrible death, man. And look, and look, and so what if some don't believe? I got a precept for that. Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. So the Lord don't care if you Israelites don't believe. It's still going to come to pass. Let's get this. St. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. Just like martial law. But the end is not yet. 
for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So everything that the Bible prescribed is coming to pass. It's happening as we speak. It's happening as we speak, Israel. Let's jump down. Let's jump down. St. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel, meaning this good news, the words of the Bible, of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world by way of the internet for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So how much closer are we now? This word has went out. How much closer are we now, Israel? Jump it down. 21. St. Matthew 24, 21. For then shall be great tribulation. All hell going to pop off. Once again, martial law going to pop off. Such was not since the beginning of the world. Because this devil's going to come in with wrath. No, and I, and I'm going to get that too. I'm going to just hold that on deck. Sleazy eat Esau, eat him. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come in with great wrath knowing that he only got a short time. And I'm going I'm to I'm hold that on deck. You see? Once again, St. Matthew 24, 21. For this shall be great tribulation. Such was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So all the hell that is coming, it ain't never came like this before. Now, all hell been breaking loose throughout these different time periods. But the Lord is saying this red letter, Lord, Yahweh Shai, who they going to call Jesus. Look, he said it ain't never got this bad. You can take all those different time periods, put them into one, and it still won't add up to what's coming. It's, and remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, right? And matter of fact, and let me just prove who's bringing all these things. Let me just prove it right quick. This is Amos. <clears throat> so like, yeah. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. You got the men of the Lord on the corners. Preaching this word week in and week out, but ain't nobody scared. But you get ready to be. You Israelites, the Lord's going to scare you to death, man. All right? When words can't teach, adversity will. It says, shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, in the city and the Lord have not done it? See, people think the Lord is all love. He won't hurt a fly. He's all love. You know what I'm saying? He cares for everybody. You can be as wicked as you want. You can just do whatever the hell you want and you ain't got nothing to worry about. Wrong. Look, look, Israel. Wrong. Isaiah 45. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, meaning on bad times, I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord, all the, all the bad stuff you see going on on the face of the earth, the Lord's controlling it. So let's go back. St. Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, because this devil going to come in with great wrath. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. So it's all about the elect at the end of the day. But I want to get this, though, because the martial law is going to pop off. This will happen. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoice. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which woe means destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil slees to eat. Esau eat him for the devil. It's come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And the word devil means deceiver. Sleazy eat Esau, eat him. The elite banking families, they're getting ready to come down with great wrath, man. Jacob's trouble, martial law, the hour of temptation. You see? Which, which is that, which, which they're going to try to uh, make it mandatory that you take that karagma. All of that is going to happen because he knoweth he only got a short time. So, so our job is to prophesy, right? I got one more. Our job is to prophesy. And, and, and that's what we do. Let's get this, though. This is Isaiah chapter 36. And you wait till it ain't no food. Watch how crazy these people be when it ain't no food. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. And it reads, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, which is the Bible, and read, no one of these shall fail. Everything that I read is going to come to pass. None of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies. None shall want her mate. The Bible stands alone. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So the spirit of the Lord is gathering the elect of the nation of Israel before it really pop off. 
Because remember, the angels are holding back the destruction, man. Once they elect the seal, that it's going to be full throttle destruction, man. So, so everything that I read will come to pass. Martial law will pop off. Seek the Lord, Israel. This will happen. Evils and only evils, behold, is come. And I want to get another one. I just thought of another. Let's get Ezekiel. Since I, since I said that, I got to get Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 33. Bear with me. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Go tell the Israelites what's coming. And say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, and the sword represents destruction, right? If the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see it, the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet. What are we doing? We're blowing the trumpet, Israel. Starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops with great millstone, because that's who's, that's who's really blowing the trumpet. You know, that's who's really blowing the trumpet, Zion. Okay? He says, look, look, you, you blow the trumpet, man. You see destruction coming up on the land, you blow the trumpet. When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see it, the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet. We see destruction coming. So we blow on the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning, the Israelites that don't turn back after hearing this word, you see, and you don't take warning, if the sword come and take him or her away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet. They heard the warning and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And that's how bad it's going to be. The Israelites that didn't take heed, they're going to die a horrible death, man. Let's get this. Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand, man. All right? Destruction, 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 destruction. That's all you're going to see, Israel. This will happen. Shalom.